It's 4.55 right now and blue hour has begun, so I'm missing a good portion of blue hour. So I'll, uh, I'll talk to you once I'm out there on the beach. got this beautiful sunrise and a few shots during the blue hour I just I just didn't feel like making videos so um, it's a really wonderful day out here it's gonna get warm but so I um, I set this up to uh, with a tennis okay I did a couple of different exposures two that I didn't use any filters on uh, or three even, two, two. And then this third one of the sunrise coming up, I use a three-stop grad to tone down the brightness of the sky. And then I also used a 10-stop with a three-stop grad to smooth out the water, but I wasn't as happy with that one. Um, I think that was about a five-second exposure. So, you know, the importance of using filters. I have shots without the filters, shots with the filters, and I'll show you what the effects of each are. Maybe talk a little bit about that. Because filters to me are really very important. Yeah. There are bugs. Bugs everywhere. Beautiful morning out here. I think I'll shoot some B roll. The light's getting harsh now. I didn't even pull the film camera out today, and I don't know if I will. I'm, uh, I'm in one of those listless places. So. Feel good, though. It was really nice to get out here and to shoot. Ooh, I know what I'll do. Yeah, I'll go shoot some mossy, mossy trees. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, let's go over to those. See if we can find anything interesting before it gets overgrown over there. So I wrote a blog post once about woodland photography and the difficulties of doing it correctly and trying to um, visualize before you even trip the shutter what you want to see in the end photo. And I think that's... Uh, that's a really important point. Um, I was just shooting some trees and it uh, dawned on me that I had really did try to visualize it fully. So, all right, I'll check back in in a bit. foundation hole um, off here in the middle of this pile of snags over here but it looks like an old barn look at the size of those stones they use for foundation and here I'm standing on the edge of the foundation here and there's some more of it there So it'll be nice, I can add this to my foundation series. Actually, <laughs> there's a piece of it way over there too. So I'm not sure if this was a barn, I think it might have been. 
because why would you have such a heavy duty foundation? I mean, look right here, through those snags there. Beautifully laid stones, like really tightly laid stones. So I set up to shoot this pile of foundation rock here, as you see here. So, oh, it's nice to find some stuff for one of my series. I I like it. Ticks. I already pulled one off myself. Gonna have to do a thorough check when I get home. It was a spotted tick though, which potentially carries the, uh, what's it called, Rocky Mountain Fever. So, I'll need to check myself out. But I think I'm gonna call it a day. It was pretty cool walking through there, even though it was like Tick Central. Um, it's not as bad as when I was a little kid. I once walked through a field that had an infestation of ticks, and I came out with like 40 ticks on me. I had to slowly pick them all off. It was horrible. Anyway, I'm going to head on home now. It's been a great day. Thanks for coming out and watching again, and uh, subscribe if you haven't. Give the thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and uh, hope to see you next time. Take care.